Betty Don Reed here coming to you from DC9 in Washington, DC, where we're about to talk to one of my favorite up and coming artists <laughs> who's international. And Dominique Young Unique. It's Dominique Young Unique. Well, hi, my name is Dominique Young Unique. I am an upcoming artist from Tampa, Florida. I make music, all kind of music and stuff. So you guys better be watching out for me. <laughs> How would you describe your sound? Well, you know, a lot of people ask me that though, but like, I describe it as a female gangster fun rapping way. It's different, electro, mixed with hip hop and stuff. What are some of your influences? Um, the most important thing that influenced me is my struggle. When I was struggling, me and my parents and stuff, we was living in the car and stuff, and like, we ain't have nowhere to go. My mom lost her job. My dad went to prison and stuff. So like, when I look back at them things, it like it pushed me. So I was like, I'm just gonna follow my dream and my career and push. You know, I'm just gonna go hard. So I met David Alexander and like he helped me and, and he a real big part of my success right now. So I know you got your start young. Uh, what made you want to get into music? Like, what was your start? First, it was me and my cousin. We was doing music. Um, her name is Shantiara. I think I was 11 and she was 10 or whatever, but anyways, it's been so long. So I was doing music and stuff first. Like, I wanted to be a nurse. I wanted to be an animal doctor. I wanted to be a school teacher. Like, I wanted to be so many things. So, but when I was like writing me and her lyrics, that first song was like, do, do sweat, I'm swinging the hands, and I'm gonna hit it to the floor, and I'm gonna do it again. That was our first rap I wrote us. And then like, me, as me being so young, I found like, damn, I got a talent. Like, I wrote my own rhymes and stuff. And then like, I just went from there and stuff. And like, people was telling, her aunties then was telling, um, like, like my cousin, don't hang with me because I hang with boys and I'ma get pregnant, which was a lie or whatever. I was socializing with boys about music. We used to stand in the group, hit the beat, freestyle and stuff. And like, it just, it just used to be fun, you know? And then like, really what made me got into music too, you know the rapper Trina mm -hmm. from Miami. Like when I, when I first seen her on TV, she like, "Woo, pull over that ass too." Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Whoa, I like her." But now, like, wow, I'm like in the same competition she in, and like, yeah, she like, but she was a good influence to me. Like, she was a good role model to me. Like, that made me even come harder too. I was like, "Damn, dreams do come true." That's Cause this dream, my dream came true. You know, yeah. so it's awesome. Your mixtape, I love it. I'm like sharing it with all my friends. Oh, that's a stop. Um, <laughs> let's talk about some songs about that. Like, uh, what about me? What was the inspiration behind that song? <laughs> it was not obvious. <laughs> just like a fun song I wrote and stuff like what about me I get more when I call it modo I'm just letting them know how I do my thing you know I'm just on the track doing my thing having fun playing around and stuff yeah and so. blaster what was the inspiration behind blaster blaster it's not the same to me okay like I'm feeling like okay I'm feeling this boy or whatever, but he not paying no damn attention to me or whatever. That's like about the hook and stuff. So like, he not paying attention to me, so on my verses, I just flipped on him. Like, okay, I don't care, you know, like, it's, like, it's a fun track. Alright, your video, I love your video for Show My Ass. That was filmed in the UK, right? Yes, it was so cold. I had filmed that in the UK, um, in London. That was my first video, um, show my ass and stuff. Like, I forgot the um, the dude named David. He filmed it on the roof and stuff. It looked in the video, it looked like it wasn't cold, but it was freezing on that roof. It was so cold. You two were a lot, like internationally, like you've done so many festivals. Oh my god, I played so many, I can't even keep up where I played that. <laughs> yeah, but like the countries I've been to, it's like, it's so different than the United States. Like, they talk funny there. <laughs> I love it, cause it's just so fun, the essence and stuff. Like, I be messing with my producer, David Alexander, cause he from London, he talks so <laughs> funny. And I love when he repeat things, though, I just mess with him. Uh, what do you hope your fans get out of your music? I hope 
they get out of my music, okay, like, like, they vibe into it and stuff, they, they feel where I'm coming from, and like, I'm not just doing it for me, I'm doing it for my fans too, like, they probably been through the things I've been through and stuff, and like, they feeling it and stuff, you know. Hi, I'm Dominique and you are watching Strictly Global.